<laughs> okay. Uh, I would start by uh, telling uh, both of them. Number one, there has to be uh, self-realization from both uh, spouses, understanding that there is a difference, and there, uh, you know, there is a uh, there is somewhere where we are not in one line. You know, we are not getting uh, on the same wavelength. Uh, secondly, I would advise them to assess how does this affect, you know, uh, take an assessment. First of all, if they are in, in, in uh, agreement that both our ways are leading to, you know, they are leading to conflict, they are leading to misunderstanding, uh, both our mindsets or our patterns are not, you know, working towards the betterment of this, uh, this marriage, then assess how, what is the damage that is being done. You know, how is this affecting us? Is it affecting us in terms of uh, what we're establishing? Is it affecting those, for even those couples that have children, realize that when you have issues, the children are the first recipients of whatever you have is happening between you and your spouse. Uh, it's like when a bomb is thrown into an area, a lot of the deaths that occur are not from the main impact, but are from the secondary impact. You know, the, the, it's called shrapnel whatever is thrown away, the, the, whatever has been hit and it explodes. And it, you know, a lot of people probably are killed by glass. A lot of people are killed by some of those objects. So realize that your children are the first recipients. And it, it is always not just voicing to them, but their children are able to read the mood of what is happening. So evaluate what uh, that difference is doing to you. And it will bring you to a place uh, where uh, you, you'll be able to, you know, you, you, you'll be slapped or thrown back into reality. Number three, invite a third party into this conversation. If you find that you both have two different foundations, two divergent views, uh, two conflicting ways, invite a third party where it will not seem that there's, a, there's any, there's some, there's, there's wiki pendeleo, but this person who, a person who will be, who is straight, a person who is direct, a person, a person who will be able to hear both your bring you know uh, certain sanity to what is happening uh, so this could be you know uh, a pastor uh, and i would advise a pastor who has a background in counseling and guidance in marriage this could be your best couple this could be you know somebody who you can trust and uh, number three is uh, it was said there before total forgiveness there has to be total forgiveness when you come to this views this has caused us done this to you total forgiveness in marriage is fundamental <laughs> this is fundamental and it is one of the hardest things to do to forgive especially in marriage where you feel that i have this you know this really treat me right i should legally you know there is all this and your heart they, it brings so much bitterness but total forgiveness is so key number two total commitment commit a uh, couples forgive one another and they establish a certain route to take, but you find one is not committed to the cause because once you set this is what the way we are going to follow, you must be totally, you know, and when it comes to work, emotions are, re are, re are removed, feelings are removed uh, to the cause. Abisa. Uh, lastly, uh, I would advise this couple to establish positive patterns because positive patterns lead to a culture in marriage. Positive patterns lead to a culture, a culture for, for that marriage. And this culture will help establish the vision for this uh, marriage, for this couple and for this uh, family. So those are some of the points that I would be able to 